and today we are doing a foundation review um as you all know i am obsessed with foundations i like to try different ones different brands different textures different applications i love foundation um as you all know i have rosacea so i like my foundation to be full coverage um you know perfecting blurring flawless application um, i prefer the cream um i don't really like stick foundations that well because it just doesn't do well with my skin texture um, i don't know what it is today we're going to be reviewing and demoing the l'oreal total cover 24 hour foundation um it's nine o'clock at night here so i'm not going to wear this for 24 hours i'll be in bed soon but i am going to put this on my face and um talk about it and how it feels how it looks and we're gonna um compare it to the um other foundations that i wear and see how it goes um it's 12.99 um the pro glow pro matte foundation I'm thinking it's around seven to nine dollars. Um, it's tall and slender, whether as this is short and stocky. You get one fluid ounces of foundation. Oh, okay. Well, you, you get it's, it's the same amount in both containers. Hmm, just different containers, shapes and stuff. So, also in this video, I'm going to kind of go over my, um, you will see my full foundation routine. I have a ritual. I do this ritual every day. It doesn't change um, unless, I, of course, it changes when I add new products in, but that's about the only time it changes. I've already moisturized my face because um, I did take a shower and I used the First Aid Beauty Moisturizer. I um, always moisturize my face. You always want to make sure if you have dry skin that you do moisturize before you put your foundation on okay next i'm going to prep the skin with mac fix plus and i'm just going to spray this on my face until i'm almost wet just let that sit for a couple minutes um this just really does a lot for my skin it hydrates it it just blurs out imperfections by itself I mean it already makes my skin look ten times better now you will feel like a little you will feel a little ugh, after you spray it because I'm just kind of kind of wet so. alright the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Estee Edit of course you already know four stick and go over my nose Okay, so for primer today, I'm not using my Becca Backlight. Can you believe it? I'm actually using the YSL Touche Eclat Bleu Primer. Basically, this is what it looks like. As you can see, there's specks of glitter in it. Um, this is rather expensive, so I, you know, I don't recommend it if you are not wanting to spend about 60 bucks on it. Um, this is an illuminating blur primer. And I'm not sure about how much to use. And instead of using a brush, I'm just going to use my hands. I'm going to put it on. So this is feels like a mattifying primer. It smells really good though. We're going to see how it does with the application of the foundation. Already, my skin feels really luxurious and soft. Ooh. I may like that. Okay, so now for the main event. This is the total cover. I'm going to be taking it. This is what the tip looks like. It's like a squeeze tip. So the application is probably better. I'm taking about that much on my hand. I'm going to see how it goes. Taking my wet Real Techniques sponge and just applying it. 
Now already I can see that it appears to be full coverage, but it's definitely thick filling. Oh man, my, my hair. Definitely thick filling, so I'm just going to see how this applies, applies, applies with my beauty blender. Oh wow. Look at that coverage. Already. Y'all. This might be my new favorite foundation. I'm not kidding. This may have kicked the Pro Glow's Boutte. I mean, yeah, the 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 blendability is superb. The color is wonderful because you never know what you're gonna get when you buy different foundations. Some colors are different in other shades, but y'all, this is. The truth. I mean, you can still see a little bit of redness, so that's what I mean. Like, I have to normally put two coats of foundation with any foundation on because my redness is so so extreme, and I hate color correcting. Like, I don't want to color correct. I just don't want to, so I'm not going to. So I'm just gonna keep blending it. I really really like it I definitely will be repurchasing it it is not too heavy but it is not too sheer like I feel like I have it on some on but like not enough where it's gonna make me it you know sometimes you can put too much foundation on you can itch but I definitely don't be feeling like I'm gonna be itching with this okay so for concealer today I'm gonna be using my NARS creamy concealer in shade light I'm going to be blending this out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Okay, so next I'm using my Cover Fix setting powder and I'm going to set this phew, with my beauty sponge again so now I put a little bit of setting powder around it and now I'm going to take my translucent powder and I'm going to bake with it I'm just extra powdery today Let's how are we? Okay, and now to warm up my face so I don't look like a big old ghost. I'm going to be using my, of course, Wet n Wild Contour Palette. This was my favorite palette. To contour with I'm taking my elf kabuki brush and contour if you notice that you go a little ham on your contour and you need to clean it up you get your translucent powder and you take your beauty sponge and you dip it right in there and you just go along that contour line and you can clean it up if y'all didn't know this is Drew Barrymore's new cosmetic line I didn't even know somebody told me and I'm going to try it out 
today. I'm just going to be using a little bit of her blush. Don't have a smell to it. Very pretty. Okay, so for highlighting today, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Strobe. Ugh. Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid in Light Iridescent. I hope this is not too light for me. This is a cream contour. Oh, this is a cream highlight, so I'm probably just going to be using this as a base. I'm just kind of rubbing it in. Probably should have used a brush, but like I said, this is just a base. Okay, so I'm going to mix King Tut on top of this to see how it goes. King Tut by Jeffree Star. Just blending this. Oh, yeah. Pretty nice. Keep it spoke. Nose. So now I'm going to blend this nose in some more because I kind of look like I'm, um, you know, doing Santa Slay. Blend that in some more. All right, I'm going to finish my under eyes and I'll be back. So I'm back. My under eyes are finished and I put some lipstick on to finish up the video. Um, in all, I would say this foundation is amazing. Um, the coverage of it is flawless. My face feels comfortable. Like I can't describe the feeling to you guys. Like It feels like I can you know, move and do whatever I have to do and it's like not going to go away. Um, I highly suggest y'all picking this up. Um, if you do try it and you love it, please let me know. Um, I definitely will be using this for my clients and for me as well. So this is definitely an A plus in my book. Um, L'Oreal comes out with some absolutely amazing foundations. They are my all time favorite drugstore line. Um, y'all should definitely give them a try. They are super cheap super reasonable and you really get a lot for your money um make sure you all are moisturizing your skin and using primers i cannot stress that to you enough i can you can use a thousand dollar foundation but if you do not prep your skin and your face it will not make a difference and um that's all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this review Please like and subscribe and comment. Let me know if you have it and if you like it or if you don't like it. If there's any foundations you want me to try, please leave them in my comment section below. Um, I'm just going to start filming like crazy so you all will probably get sick of me in the next few weeks because I have a lot of products that have been requested for me to try. I am trying Lip Sense, the e.l.f. Bubble Mask, um, the new Kat Von D Holographic Palette, the Kat Von D and Too Faced collab. I have so much to film. Um, so I hope you guys stick around with me and continue to watch me and support me like you all have. Um, yeah, so that's, again, that's all I have. I hope you guys have a great night or day wherever you guys are. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. I got the rollie on my arm and I'm pouring Sean Don and I'm all the best weed cause I got it going on. I'm a nice dude with some nice dreams. See these ice cubes, see these ice creams, eligible bachelor, million.